Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Internet Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about my recent experience switching from high-speed internet to crazy high-speed internet and whether it is really necessary to switch from uh, high-speed internet beyond uh, 50 or 100 Mbps and whether if it's a waste of money or you really need to change or switch to that type of high speed. I've been with Bell Canada for a few years and my internet speed was 50 Mbps. And to tell you the truth, uh, at 50 Mbps I never uh, see any uh, or I never saw any uh, you know, need to change it to a higher speed because uh, everything was just fine and smooth, uh, surfing the uh, internet or watching videos, uh, uploading to YouTube, uploading to back up my files and everything. Everything went uh, totally smooth and okay. And for a regular point of view, I don't see any necessary to you know switch to anything above uh, 50 or 100 Mbps. The reason I switched to uh, 600 Mbps because there's a, a small company called Fiberstream and they only service uh, you know condos. They're not a big company like uh, Bill or Rogers or Telus. They only provide internet to selected condos in selected uh, cities in Canada. And uh, they just finished uh, fiber uh, installation in our building and they're offering a very good deal. And for me, it actually didn't make sense not to switch. So. Uh, what I was paying uh, uh, before with Bell, if I add just five more dollars, then I would get ten times more speed or even more uh, with uh, just a little bit more money. So I thought I wanted to try how you know it feels like to have 600 Mbps internet. Now since the switch, uh, you know I have been surfing everything, uh, surfing the internet or you know uh, watching video and. Uh, streaming movies and everything and uh, I don't see any much any difference between a 50 Mbps to 600 Mbps I'm going to show you uh, some uh, you know speed test you're not gonna see 600 Mbps uh, because uh, due to various factors uh, like you know Wi-Fi or uh, that type of device I'm using it's not able to you know show more than 400 sometimes I'm getting uh, up to 450 speed on the speed test but uh, when the technician was here then uh, he showed me on his device that you know it was uh, 600 Mbps speed but on my phone or on my computer uh, it never shows more than 400 450 maximum 500 speed so there are limitations but still you know it's a uh, uh, very good speed so I could be uh, you know having a uh, 600 speed but uh, maybe just the testing uh, browser or my device connected via Wi-Fi is not able to pull up more than 400 or 500 on the screen so that's what you're gonna see but to tell you the truth uh, I don't see any difference between surfing the you know uh, internet or watching movie or you know listening to music just like you know doing regular activities or daily work uh, I don't see any point to yeah, switch it to a higher internet. If you have 50 Mbps, uh, that's good enough. That's a very good speed on internet. But I do see a significant difference only two times. Uh, one of them is when I'm uploading to YouTube, and the other time uh, is when I'm uploading to back up my files on the clouds. So these are the two uh, instances where there are like you know uh, day and night difference. For example before a standard a 10 minute video I would say like you know 10 15 gig uh, it would take me to one hour sometimes two hours to upload to YouTube and now I can do that even a few minutes like you know four minutes five minutes it's really fast and when I'm backing up my file then before I would just like you know uh, start backing up and I would leave it there for long hours but now I just you know started backing up and it's done it's uh, really fast so that's where I can see the difference but even if I didn't have you know uh, 600 Mbps I would still be okay with 50 Mbps backing up or uploading to YouTube that's what I've been doing for uh, many years so from a regular point of view I don't think it's necessary to you know spend more money or a lot more money to have that type of speed uh, beyond let's say 50 Mbps or 100 Mbps if you have uh, 50 or 100 I think that's good enough uh, for regular activities and even you know if I don't get, have the good rate uh, then I don't mind cutting back to uh, 50 Mbps because uh, that uh, wouldn't make that much difference so before I thought you know it would be totally uh, something else having that type of high speed but now I realize that it's not really what it you know sounded like 
so it's just uh, you know makes a difference when I'm uploading something or when I'm backing up my files on the cloud so my suggestion would be that you know if you'd like to save money then uh, if you uh, find a very good deal with 50 hundred just, just you know you can stick to it there's no need to switch to like you know 500 600 or 1000 uh, because uh, I believe it's unnecessary so I'm going to keep uh, this uh, fiber stream uh, internet uh, as long as I have the deal but you know if uh, they increase the price or cut uh, the deal then definitely I'm going to be switching to a lower speed or I'll look for someone else who can give me a better uh, deal with uh, even if it's a lower speed that's fine the main thing is you know you don't want to pay too much money unnecessary for internet which you do not know or sorry which you do not need so that's my experience and uh, if there is anything comes up or any updates definitely I'll need you know I'll let you know on this channel I do travel financial credit card points and other videos forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly